What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day, number 338. Um, so I went a little bit of a liquor store archaeology. It was the last bottle on the shelf at the Tudor House. I picked up a few things from the Tudor House, picked up a few things from Vessel. Um, it is the Moon Underwater Loganberry Liqueur. Now, I love Loganberries. I think it's uh, the times that I've done a couple of Scandinavian pop-ups and stuff like that. Loganberries, for me, just sing. Just really, really tasty. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and describe them the best I can. It's sort of like a cassis... Blackberry sort of deal, like a black currant, black currant, a black currant, black currant, black currant, blackberry sort of deal. Twenty percent. The guys over there do such a fantastic job. Not as sweet textural as I was expecting, like like a sticky sweet. Really just lets that 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 juicy Loganberry sing. The alcohol is very understated. And that's just got a hint of sweetness. Just a hint of sweetness that plays really nicely into it. This would be... Mm. This would be really fantastic. In a bramble variation. So gin, lemon juice, um, sugar syrup. Give it a shake, pour it over crushed ice, and then drizzle this on top. Do a Loganberry Bramble. I think that would be a fantastic little number. On the palate, you're not getting any residual sweetness. It's very clean. It's almost like an al alcoholic Loganberry juice. Alcohol super understated. The berries just sing. The berries just speak for themselves. Um, I think it's a fantastic little number. And if you can find some now, I'm sorry that I got the last bottle at Tudor House. If you can find some, get some. It's the Moon Underwater, the Moon Shine Spirits, Loganberry Liqueur. Guys, thanks always for the support. See you tomorrow. Bye.